Hello everybody, I'm your lovely awesome host, Blue and here today we're going to review the Tomashi Nation SA figure art, Dragon Ball Super Master Ultra Instinct Torotaro version. Yes, Torotaro, the creator of the manga. You know, this is this, this version of this version of Ultra Instinct. Oh, sorry, Master Ultra Instinct Goku, based off the manga, not from the anime. Even though I don't have that version, I would love to one day. Just I missed the reissue of it. Well, for the Japanese side, but still. So yeah, oh yeah, uh, this figure comes in a large packaging in a book, like a freaking uh, encyclopedia wise book of every figure that came out from the first one, from the 1.0s to the current days of the, of, of the freaking Dragon Ball line. Good book. I have it right. I have, I have it too. And yes, this figure is not retail. It's premium Bandai, but uh, if you want your own copy. I from, if I remember, he's still on in the game, so you can go buy him. So you can go buy him in the book, off there. And you're welcome for that. So let's talk. So let's talk about this guy. All right, all right. So, so here we have Master Master Ultra King Goku from the look of it, different face of the manga I said. And also, you got also to prove that his color is a little more lighter for the pants, including for the boots. Because look at the if you look at the original release, the first one, his has a more dark orange because well, again, that one's based off the ma not manga. So that one's based on the anime. This one's based on the manga. And the body sculpts are totally different, even though this is even though this is definitely using a 2.0 body. So okay, so let's go on top of the figure, the, the ups and down. So yeah, this is how far his arms go. If you if you play this a little more, it's gonna break. I recommend you don't do it because since this figure costs almost a hundred dollars, Christ. This is how far he goes from here, go from here, go from here, and go from here, and go from here as well, and yeah. Right. No like smudges by the way on my copy, just to be fair. I do like the tan that they did with him. Granted the original release was, was tan as well, but still. And I know that Tortara was involved with this guy, just like how Toriyama was involved with with the first from the freaking first from Frieza. Rest in peace to the legend himself. But yeah. But I, I can't really but you know what I mean. That rest in peace to Toriyama. That man was a that man was a childhood hero, legend to me. I was between my own, well, between me. Well, I got into the franchise when I was <laughs> technically, uh, technically around, technically when I was like eleven. Well, I'm like a teenager, I say. Well, while well, still a kid, but you know what I mean. So we're going. So we're going. On, so we're going on to his accessories. Yeah, he has a lot. No effect pieces, by the way. But uh, if you get like, if you get like freaking effect effect pieces from other Goku figure, he can use them. So here we have uh here we have actually one of my favorite head sculpts. This is this is a second head comfort that basically gives you the possibility to make Goku look dope as heck with his hair uh, going with his, with his hair looking like this, like like looking all windy and stuff. 
And he looked and he looked very serious too in that look. I mean, like he's down to kick your butt. He means business. Here we have a, uh, well, here we have a, uh, a, uh, grin face, well, an angry face, I'll say. Here we have a yelling face. Here we have the, uh, well, well, my, well, my second favorite face from this, from the head scope. His, uh, si his, uh, sleeping face, let's see, a bit more, uh, uh, relaxed face. Basically, when his eyes are closed, he's getting down the business while acting while thinking. Uh, the freaking Omen figure I have has the exact same face, and I love it. We had like two open hands. Two uh, standard regular Goku. Uh, I forgot. What, I forgot what the hands are called, but the regular hand Goku has in every figure. The crew ready, ready to fight. And Prima, two Kamehameha hands. Might be a hot pick. I gotta be honest. The figure is good, but at the same time, he. I felt like I felt like he shouldn't be P Bandai. I don't know. Maybe retail because he has retail accessories in my in my opinion. And for and for comparison, well, here he is with well freaking got chart. And the figure that I reviewed last last week, well, a couple of days ago, I'll say. Oh yeah, but I found I found the other hand I was missing for that the gotcha was missing. I found it. Apparently my my dumbass also my idiot self put it in a different box. But we're all good now. Here he is with uh Ruel, his omen form slash sign. I call it Omen because I think Omen is something more cooler than sign. Oh, no, I'll do this. Alright. Here yeah, for Beast Gohan just for the comparison because about these two did have like a little bit of sparring session in the, in the manga. Here yeah, for Jiren. Alright, he stands pretty well with both of them, not gonna lie. <laughs> Here he is with, uh, well, with, uh, freaking, uh, El Studio Gohan. Here he is with Blue Goku. And uh, well, Blue Vegeta will come by as well. And 
Yeah. And uh, yeah, overall, he's a good figure. I mean, he's good, but at the same time, felt like he could, felt felt like coming better. He was a little limited at some places, you know, articulation and all that. I really did wish he come with like more heads, more like faces, and uh, and like a Kamehameha accessory. But still, he fits good. If we don't have like. If you don't have like Master Ultimate and Goku, then this guy is a good alternative. I'm happy I have him, but at the same time, I do <laughs> my completeness side will probably go hunt down the original you know, eventually one of these days. And yeah, but now, yeah, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow on my social media description. This is and put the number of case button on for my next video, which will probably be on another figure. I know that I know that on what figure, so forgive me for that. And uh, yeah, guy. Again, notification. Again, put the notification. Push the notification button on for my next video. Your goal, my goal this year, hit thousand subs, and we got help. We can do that. Follow on my follow on my social description. And like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, my name's Aaron, and uh, I'm out. Enjoy the pictures, and have a nice day or night wherever you live at. And yeah, bye.